if it's single contrast, you're not going to see any hair. Just want to show you the difference between them. Single contrast is just going to be all barium. Double contrast, you're going to see air and barium mixture. That's the difference. So you will need to be able to identify whether it's a single or double contrast. Then you need to be able to identify the parts of the colon. And I'll do it with this one because this one shows it a little better. So, yeah. All right, so here's your cecum. There's your ascending colon, hepatic flexure or right colic flexure, transverse colon. Then you have the splenic flexure or left colic flexure, descending colon, sigmoid colon, rectum, and then the anal canal. Now. And of course, here's the tip. Mm. Like when you ask the, um, the projection on the test, like the ones with the time interval, does the correct answer have to include like AP or something like that? <coughs> 30 minutes, all of that to be the correct answer? That would be all the correct answer, but I have it divided up on the test. It's multiple choice. Yeah, it's multiple choice. Yeah, so exactly. we don't have to write it all. What did you call the left? The right one is the hepatic. The left one is splenic. Splenic. I will let you use that interchange me. Say splenic flexure. Then I'll be fine with that. So right. It's all multiple choice if you one or the other. It's all multiple choice, yeah. yeah. So if I have splenic, I won't put splenic and left power flexure. Yeah. It's going to be one or, or the other. Or you could, then we have a 50 percent chance of getting the question I have both of them. I do have a question about the PA oblique stomach and duodenum. In the book it says hyperstenic requires more rotation than stenic and astenic, but in class she told us astenic is closer to 70. Less for bigger patients. Should I go by the book or what you told me? Is it a bigger patient, more yeah. rotation? Yeah. yeah. That's probably right. Yeah. Go with the book. Okay. So clinically, would it say, like, would you be? Go with the book. Okay. Well, it's not paying for the test. I'm just saying, in general, it's clinical. Go to the book. <laughs> <laughs> Even clinically, go with the book. Because I got it mixed up. That's probably what happened. Okay. So. And I do have another Because the thing is, it changes with different. Projections, projections yeah. and body parts. Okay, for the AP and the PA obliques, you got the LPO and the RPO. When they're in LPO, do you go side down or do you still come in over here and it shoots through? Still go, everything's up to towards the elevated side. Okay, towards the elevated, everything's the elevated side. For either one of them, it's towards the elevated side. Okay. 